Adobe Creative Cloud Plugins and Integrations. Welcome. In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to use the Photosquare plugin on Photoshop. At this point, I believe you have installed it and you have opened a Photoshop project. I am going to be working with this blank project canvas. And this is what you have as soon as you install Photos Grab. If you do not have it, all you need to do is go to the panel titled Plugins here, select this panel, go to Photos Grab because you have already installed Photos Grab, and then you can select Photos Grab and you have this panel opened. You can expand or you can just scroll and it tells you how to use single images or a multiple images URL and we're going to test both. We're going to click on get started. Now we're going to start with a single image URL. For this example, I will be using Pixabay. I am going to open Pixabay site and I will go to any random photo, um, this for example, I will click on copy image address. I want to download this image of this. And then I go back to my plugin and I install here and I click search or I press the enter button on my computer. And the image comes up and all I have to do is select apply. Now, once I do that, a dialog box will be open telling me to save this in any name I want. And I'm going to call this Pixabay 1. You can choose to save it in any name you prefer and you hit save. And once you do that, you have the image automatically put on the canvas. And I'm just going to minimize this for a second and to show you that you can move this image up about and everywhere. Now, how about we try for multiple images if you want to download from a website that has multiple images? Well, I'll go ahead and just type youtube.com, for example, expecting it to give me all the front images from the YouTube page. And it grabs all the images it can find on YouTube and loads them onto this panel and I can apply, this is what I get for today from YouTube. And we're gonna apply multiple to. Let us start with image one, apply. I'm going to save this as YouTube one and allow it put. I'm also going to add another image. Let's go to image four and apply image four. It's going to tell me to save. I'm going to save it as YouTube 4. And it's going to apply both images. And I'm going to close this icon. And here I can move this. And I can also move this. And these are all the images. And you can play around with them in your project. And you can always import from your computer because you have already saved these images for use on your computer. Thank you very much for these tutorials. Please leave us a message if you have more questions. Thank you so much.